shall we do this? The top three lies you believed about Ian Machado Gary. There are obviously many, many more. I'd argue over 99% of what you read is a lie, but we're gonna stick with three today, and these are important. The crowd at UFC 298 press conference were loud. The boos were undeniable as Ian took to the stage and a bloke behind me shouted, can I f your wife? He had no idea I was there until I turned around and glared at him to which he just disintegrated into a wet puddle of apologies. This tsunami of aggression towards the undefeated welterweight all exploded when former middleweight title holder and current multiple world bullshit title holder Sean Strickland read a clickbait headline but didn't bother to fact check or read the whole article. Unsurprising gullible behavior, but why would we expect anything else? Why would we expect anyone to fact check? We're in an age of headline only, attention deficit consumers looking really to validate only preconceived ideas online. Bad journalism, bad people, and lazy consumerism are a perfect recipe for misinformation to explode and an unwarranted amount of hate to land on the shoulders of UFC's brightest prospect. So let's begin with lie number one. Ian took his wife's ex-husband's surname. I can't believe anyone would accept this to be true, but the MMA community picked it up and ran a full marathon with it. In fact, some people are still running with it now, gripping on with sweaty, trembling fingers in order to justify blatant trolling. It's not true. It never was true. Mashadu is my maiden name. We added our names together when we got married. It's not that big a deal. Now that you know that it was a lie, you can kick yourself for believing it, preferably in the face. Lie number two, his wife's ex lives with them. <sighs> There's a pattern here. A lot of the lies are about his wife. I'm so glad she's finally clearing it up. No, no, he doesn't. He never has done. I find that a bit weird. I, yeah, I wouldn't want to, no. This lie was born out of the mouth of an MMA YouTuber desperate for clicks. When you make a channel entirely dedicated to your opinion on others, you have to somewhat admit that your own talent isn't enough. You haven't got enough to entertain. You have to talk about other people in order to stay relevant. You're riding off the coattails of other people's hard work. This isn't fighting commentary. This is just self-indulgent numerical masturbation. When researching all the bullshit online, it was very clear to me why people are making so much of this content. You see, the numbers spike sharply anytime anyone's talking about Ian and his family. So much so that Kevin Holland's page looked like a full shrine to Ian Gary for a complete three weeks as he just kept regurgitating this Ian Gary content. You see, if you have no morals, no creativity, and you need to hit the numbers online, then the numbers are often worth the lie. Lie number three, Ian is a cuck. Step back up, Sean Strickland, a man who's unlikely to be au fait with the Shakespearean English he unwittingly used when calling Ian a cuck. First penned in the story of Othello, the word cuckold refers to the fear of a man who's been betrayed by his wife. Sean Strickland has been talking an awful lot about Ian Gary's wife. I've been called a sexual predator, a paedophile, an abuser, all by the man who alleges he suffered that exact abuse as a child growing up. In the Shakespearean classic, Lego tells Othello about Desmonda's adultery and he blindly believes the rumours. It's serendipity and not merely coincidental that Lego was lying. There was no truth to the story at all. Othello, like the crowd at UFC 290, was cruelly misled by Lego's jealousy and insecurities. Othello was never the cuckold he was called. His wife was never an adulteress. And notably, when the lies were exposed, Lego was taken away to be tortured and killed. Thank you, Shakespeare.